Hello Kings, Queens, Nerds, and Geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to another video where we get to debunk another moron today. Um, today uh, we'll be talking about the tr the dark truth about dogs. This That's the name of the channel. That's who we're talking Dog about. Dog lovers. Dog lovers. Yeah. Dog lovers. Yeah. No, no, it says do uh, the dark truth about dogs. That's what it says. Dark truth about dogs. Um, you can't show it here because I'm showing her. Um, but anyway, this person had been recently talking about our acquaintances, uh, Novacast Studios, and the Dark Reindeer. Now, guys, um, she has been talking about them, making false claims and uh, spiteful things, especially about the Dark Reindeer. She thinks that he's a horse fucker. She thinks that he wants to have sex with reindeer. But mostly because... She thinks that he also wants to be a reindeer, Solely based on his channel icon. Okay. That's it. Oh, and don't forget the fan fiction he's reading. Yeah, and he reads a, fan fiction. It was for comical reasons as well. Yeah, all this stuff is mainly for entertainment purposes, and that's all it's for, which you don't seem to understand. Not all channels are really serious about what they do. I play video games. Doesn't mean I want to have sex with every video game character I see. And I, I also read fan fiction or listen to fan fiction. It doesn't make me want to have sex with a fucking pony, does it? Yeah, and she's, like, basing all of this off of people's profile pictures as well. Like, there's this another person called... Hold on. It's uh, CJED, I believe it's him. He has a picture of his dog, his household dog as his icon, and she took it completely out of context, making it seem like, and told him that he wants to not only have relations with dogs, but he also wants to be a dog all because of that. Same thing with the white wolf and somebody who came yeah. in, the white fox. And I kind of flip-flopped it around to her because hers is of a whiteboard that says the truth, so I was like, using your logic, that means you want to be a whiteboard and have intercourse with whiteboards. Yeah, that was mainly a joke. Now, guys, she does talk about us in this video. The video we're going to be reviewing is called Debunking Little Red Cherry, um, Robocast Studios. We should warn Casey. Them with the comments. Right? Oh, yeah, hold on. CJED and my other haters. So, she does mention us in here mostly because... So, okay. Uh, the Dark Truth About Dogs. If you are going to be watching this video, I want you to know that here's this. We were fucking with you. We were purposely doing this to get into your head and make you angry, and it worked. We also purposely did this. To trap you into this. To trap you into making a video about us, and it, it worked. Yeah, we actually, I baited you. I baited you, and that's what you did. You kind of fell into it. Now, which gave me an excuse to make a video, which I know that sounds wrong, guys, but I always have a way of words. It's fun. It's entertainment for us. So you guys know I have insane. a bit of a silver tongue, and, and I don't always use it, but if it has something for entertainment purposes and there's a good cause to it, I will use it. Now, now, um, guys, remember what she says. Half of it is true, and half of it isn't. Because uh, the things we say in there, which is hilarious. So... Let's start it off. She doesn't start off with us in it, so we're just going to go through the whole video and break it down for you guys, okay? So don't think down of us with what we, what we talk about. We can actually pull up the comments on our phones and tell you what we said. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yes, it was, but here uh, we go. So I have some very stupid people Hold on, who are hating on me. And I'm going to Thanks destroy the scene, by the way. their arguments. Make this video more tolerable. The little red hey, I already tree. said that in the comments. This How dare tree. you? I'm sorry. Still my comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. It makes the vertical vi vertical camera right now really less be more bearable. <laughs> Don't be petty. <laughs> Don't be me, okay? The most annoying I'm already petty. <laughs> Her, Dana, and Dawn. These are the most annoying people I have ever dealt with. Good. And she is just insane. Don't you? I thought you wanted that title. I, I do want that title. I want the title of most annoying. <laughs> Little Red Cherry, I'm coming for your crown. <laughs> oh, God. This. 
I don't know what her problem is, but she's just insufferable. I can't stand her. No. One of her arguments being everything can kill a person. XD. The Which is true, everything can kill a person. Right? But her reasoning is that those things don't have like a conscience to do it, like the sun and stuff like that. That still doesn't take away. Most animals don't have a conscience either. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> yes, they do. No, but no, most of them act on instinct, not No, conscious. okay, basically what she meant is that they have instincts. Oh. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it can still kill you. You get rid of all the animals, your so-called perfect utopia still won't be a perfect utopia. Because here's the thing. The plants say... need... The plants need animals and the animals need plants. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I know that, but that's true, though. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, go I mean, on. like... Say hypothetically... We live in a society. No animals around us. We're completely separated from those, from them. Yeah. Okay. She also wants to ban all humans with any form of mental and physical disabilities. Oh my god. Which is insane. Because it's something that they literally cannot control. And she wants to buy, ban all people basically who have a different opinion than her. Yet she calls them psychopaths, even though uh, you obviously don't know what a psychopath is. this. I always is. joke. Now, guys, I will joke this. I will say I'm two-thirds insane. That is a fucking <laughs> yeah. joke. If she takes that out of context, that's her fucking fault. Now, now anyway, hard. pause. I wasn't done. You will never have a perfect society no matter what, though. You will still have people dying from awful things, even if it's not an animal or anything like that. Okay? There's gonna be people dying from other people. There's gonna be people dying from horrible diseases. There's gonna be people dying from our technology, such as what Little Red Cherry said, ovens. Ovens do tend to catch houses on fire. You can even get a house fire because of your dryer if you don't and properly take care of it. Here's this. There's also murderers. I already brought that up. Oh, you did? Killing people. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yes. Sorry. And it can even be involuntary. Like, what if a doctor accidentally makes a mistake and kills a patient? You know, doctors are the number one killer in the United States, I believe. Yeah, it is if, the number if one I, killer. If I remember correctly. Yeah, doctors are the number one And killer. it's all due to medical mistakes. Yet you don't realize that people have instincts. That makes no sense. Do you want to ban all doctors, too? Yeah. So, uh, wait, what if she doesn't believe in doctors? She no, doesn't she probably religion. doesn't. She is a religious person. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm only joking. Just remember, I'm only joking, guys. She's the type of religious person that makes other religious people who are good look bad. Yeah. Like, uh, here's this. Even I'm a Satanist. I don't like religious nuts. But there are some religious people out there who respected the fact that I didn't believe. And they didn't fucking, like, disown me or just be avoided me, gave me a death threat or anything. There are people out there like that. Like, I came across a guy in high school, for example. He was studying to become a priest. And uh, he, had, I talked to him. I don't really believe in God. And he was like, okay, he was okay with that. He wasn't judging me for it. Yeah, unlike this woman who basically is like, if you don't believe everything I believe, don't believe in my idea ideology or anything like that, then you need to be kicked off of this planet. You're, you're scum to me. Basically. That's the same mindset as a uh, radical terrorist. Exactly. She's like a radical, I believe she's Christian? Yes. If, she's a radical she's Christian. She's a Christian or Catholic. She is a radical one. That would be perfectly fitting for this. And guys, just so you know, radical doesn't just mean like Go out, attack people, and stuff like that. Uh, it, there's also the radical liberals, radical uh, rightists. Ra radical radical doesn't only mean like you're going to attack someone, though. Yeah, it radical, means that you are so deep into your said belief that you, that you will use intimidation factors. You will use physical violence if necessary just to get your message across. That's it's mostly what it it's mostly stupid stuff. Yeah, like there was that. Remember uh, uh, Stephen Crowder? Uh, how he always confronted his people who were threatening him and his fans. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of another example of those kind of people. So um, anyway, let's continue. First, food, a oven, and I'm sure most every animal has killed someone. Cats killed someone. Well, first off, I know cats are dangerous. You know. Now here's this. I'm not going to deny you. Some cats are dangerous. 
Technically, all animals can be dangerous. Humans are dangerous. Including Everything in this world is goldfish. dangerous. She said no goldfish is going to kill you. Well, not if you pull like what my dad did and eat it. Yeah, yeah, her <laughs> dad literally ate it. And yes, a goldfish can kill you. Uh, it what can if it, kill you. Yeah, it can yeah, kill you. Yeah, what if it's like, carrying like, certain diseases or parasites? Yeah, like, it could be having a worm in it or something. Yeah, like, my dad or... swallowed that thing whole, water and all. I don't know why. <laughs> Didn't upset me. Well, which was funny, I'll be honest. <laughs> now now I think back to it and I laugh about it and think it's disgusting, but you gotta imagine seven year old me was heartbroken. Yeah. Anyway. Dog bites are by far the most Oh, common. I knew I forgot to state earlier. Uh, by the way, uh, if she's watching, I want her to know that I'm powdered milk. And you're Don Comics. Yeah. <laughs> We're married, just so you know. Yeah. Oh, and another thing. Yes, animals may not... All animals may not be dangerous in the sense of aggression or attack, uh, attacking another person, but they can be dangerous in other ways. Yeah. That's how you're also flawed. Yeah. They can still be dangerous, but in just a different way. Yeah. Oh, here's this though. Do you know the least, actually, the least, most dangerous animal in the world is called is the manatee because it has no predators or prey. Really? Yeah. Excuse me. I wonder how they're dangerous. Probably if you eat it. Maybe. Uh, maybe um, if you try to eat it, but I doubt anybody hunts them. They're called the sea the sea cow. So anyway. Some type of animal bites in the U.S. around 4.7 million dog bites occurring each year. Now, please go to the actual article, please. One thing I noticed- She never it... reads any of the articles. She just goes based off of the titles. And here's another thing that the Dark Reindeer also brought up. Yeah, you can search these things, but you can also, like, say she searched reindeer breaking into houses. Yeah. Or deer breaking into houses. Well, yeah, no kidding you're going to get those articles if you search that. And she doesn't even read them. She just reads the title. Yeah, and two, that could also lead to something misleading entirely. T titles are meant to do that to get you to read in. Yeah. Like, it could not be actually be talking But if talking you don't about. investigate further into anything... Yeah, that's why I would go purposely into articles and try to read it and find out more about it. Like I did with Satanism. I wanted to know more about it. I actually read the Satanic Bible and, uh, and, re and read it word for word. Now, I've also read the Bible, the, the Christian Bible word for word. Now, which did I choose? Well, I mean, one is against things such as rape and child abuse and animal abuse. Remember, we got, make sure to state that. Make huh? sure to state that. Right? And then the other one is for it, as long as you pay their father and give them a goat and stuff like that. Yeah. Guess which one that is. Yeah, it, it's certainly not the one you're thinking of. No, if you actually read the Bible, rape is okay in the Bible. Oh, as long as you make your, your victim a slave as well. Yeah. And in the Christian Bible. The Satanic Bible is against rape entirely. What are my markers doing over there? Off topic. Oh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Around 92% of fatal dog bites involve male dogs. So it seems like... Actually, um, bites, the most bites that kill people is mosquitoes. Yeah, but she's not going to bring that up because it's just the diseases that mosquitoes carry. But again, like we brought up before, it doesn't matter if it's just aggression. Those animals are going to be dangerous to a person... But just in a different way, such as if it's carrying a disease. You never know. Yeah. And, um... And dogs... good luck trying to control all those mosquitoes. And, like, the other dog haters brought up, like, well, just use bug spray. Bug spray does not work on all insects. Some insects and are actually immune to it. And that's why formulas of insect sprays actually have to change constantly over time because yeah. those insects get immune to it. Yeah, and mosquitoes do eventually get, will eventually get immune to all of it eventually. Yeah. And so you can't control it forever. So... Dogs are probably the most dangerous, but anyways, cats do also attack people. Cats attack anything. Yeah, they really do, but I love cats. Cats are hunters. They're predators. And actually, you can get 
a lot of terrible infections and parasites and stuff like that if a cat accidentally scratches you. Because you know it's kind of hard for their claws to be retracted and stuff like that. They don't really actually retract if you actually ever studied an animal in your life. I yeah. have. No. Now, I'm not going to deny she's not wrong about the cat thing. She's not entirely wrong about cats. That's because you don't like cats. I don't like cats, but I know the facts about cats. <laughs> but I, You could actually do research. Cats are predators. They do do some dangerous stuff here and there. But not all of them do that. I will admit that not all cats are bad. And not all dogs are bad, just like how not all people are bad. And stuff like that. There's just a few bad apples in this world that just seem to ruin it for everything. See, but at least... she can't seem to understand it. I want to honestly know, like, what's her opinion on, like, seeing eye dogs and dogs like Delilah who would scent your mother when her mother had low blood sugar and stuff. Yeah. And, um, my, by the way, by the way, that dog's a pit bull that we were just talking about. Oh, she's a big oof. Yeah. I think the only damage she's ever done is... Eat the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Or just, like, take up your bedroom or something. Snore too loud. Yeah, she slept with me in my bed. Always put her butt in my face. Fun fact, dogs don't like being face-to-face -face with you because <laughs> of your smell. Because of your breath smell. <laughs> That's the actual thing. Dog butt. In fact, cats might be just as dangerous as dogs in some ways. You know, cats might not run up to you and maul your face off, but... Up to five. I've never, I've never actually seen a dog mauled by face cats and dogs each year. So I was attacked by one. Oh yeah, that's true. You, yeah, you were, but, but you, it was also my fault because I was messing with the dog's food. I was trying to take it away from him. Yeah, and dogs the dog are... didn't like that because it thought, "Hey, this thing is taking away my food. I need this food to survive." That's probably what went through the dog's mind, dogs. and it attacked me. Dogs are instinctual. They will be defensive about Oh, I was food. also attacked by a goose because she hates geese as well. I was attacked by a goose as well, so you got something else correct. However, you don't get this correct. My dad's the one who told me to go beat the goose with a fishing pole, and it attacked me. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, but it's for no reason, apparently. They're all just vicious creatures that have no control. No, I whacked it in the head with a fishing pole, and it got very angry. <laughs> well, anyway, let's continue. So, people that think that, you know, dogs are just all evil and cats are good, these people are very deluded. And that's probably one of the reasons why I do not support some of the other people that are against dogs, because they are cat lovers, but in reality, cats are also evil. Oh, she actually doesn't support the other cat lovers. The other, the cat lovers. Other dog lovers. Yeah, I mean the dog she doesn't support haters. some of the dog haters. Yeah. She doesn't support some of the dog haters because they love cats. Some of them, but I'm pretty sure she's. That's interesting because that means she's on a, t a whole new plane of her own. I mean, we've pretty much established that she really is on a whole other plane of her own. Not realize this that cats have the potential to also attack people every year. Millions of people. Everything are has a potential to attack, attack people every year. People dogs, have a potential to attack people all the time. People all the time. <laughs> you have the potential to attack somebody. Everything has a potential to attack someone. Everything has the potential. Except maybe manatees. But seriously, everything has the potential to attack because it's doggy dog world out there. Excuse the phrase, but it's true. I mean, and I mean that not as because dogs eat other dogs. I mean dogs. This world is the type of world Where's that it? you need... It's fight or flight. Yes, but you also need to adapt to survive. Yes. That's the point. If you cannot adapt, which it seems like you are very lacking of... This is where we need natural selection. <laughs> it needs to come back. Yeah, but, it, but natural selection is tough for humans because morons, weaklings can survive in the human race. Well, just one, two defend cats and not dogs but in reality both are dangerous and she oh. also says that food can kill people well yeah if it's poisoned but food does not have like a mind to go uh yeah some of the food does have a mind 
All food technically has a mind. Plants actually do have a quote unquote mind. They and they do have feelings. And, they, and it, I also did like a little experiment in high school with this too is if you talk rudely to a, a plant and then you talk nice to another plant, the one plant that you talk rude to will actually slow in growth and possibly even die. The one that you give compliments to and stuff like that will actually end up thriving more and growing more and producing more. So yeah, technically plants, plants have feelings as well. Plants can actually feel pain. Yes, they can. That's why they and produce And plants also have a like fight that. or flight methods. They have their own fight or flight methods, sort of. For example, grass. You know the smell when you milk no grass? That's actually them, t that's them screaming, telling other grass that there's danger. Now, they can't do anything to combat that danger. But... Yeah, that's what they're telling them. There's something endangering them. And um, for our Venus flytraps, they eat flies, they eat insects, mice, stuff like that, depending on the size. Um, but there are plants that eat others, eat, eat animals. In fact, plants need animals, which, by the way, I know your argument is that you want to get rid of all animals. But here's the thing. We need animals for the ecosystem to run. Yeah, I don't think she under... Like, she says she's 22, right, and in college. Did you not pay attention to freshman biology? Yeah. You literally learn about the ecosystem. If the ecosystem ecosystems are pretty fragile, if one thing dies, like, say... Oh, wait, she's a religious like, nut. She may not believe in science. Like, say, butterflies, for instance. If all the butterflies in the world just suddenly died, well, you just lost a ton of polluter instincts. Basically, they help pollinate flowers as well, not only bees. You just lost all of that. Now your ecosystem is completely thrown off. Yeah. And it would cause a ton of plant death and things like that. And animal death, because there's certain... Birds and other Actually, animals. some birds don't eat butterflies. Some birds I said don't. some birds do. Yeah. Because you know birds, some birds eat insects, and it doesn't really matter what insect, I think, for some. But there's also, like, mice and stuff like that that do eat, I believe mice eat butterflies, at least. I'm going to take my word for it. But without those, those animals will also not be able to thrive as well and possibly die. So, if you remove all animals, all the plants will die eventually. Yes. Because there's no bees. Actually, no, the plant... Oh, yeah, she includes insects as animals, which she's technically kind of right. But... If you remove all of them, then you're not going to be able to have any plant life thrive. And also many... Well, no, all they, the animals will be off they by would, themselves. There would be no more nutrients in the ground. They would eventually starve and die off. Yes, because you do need... Animals, when they die, they decompose and help fertilize the soils and so, stuff like that. So, let's say you killed all the animals. Now, all of them right now. That's a ton of food for the plants all for insects, a short time. That includes all insects and everything like that. Now, this is excluding humans, of course. Yes. But um, if you do that, you'll have food for, for the plants for a short time. But eventually, they're going to start running out. Considering our population of humans, yeah, you're going to start running out really quick. And dead plants only go so far for fertilizing the live plant, plants as well. You, yeah. You really can't get that far with it. Now, you can also use your little theory of, well, there will be humans. Can't you use, like, human to fertilize it? Yeah. But, that's but it can only go so far. There's more animals than there are humans. You mean more plants than there are humans. No, there's what? there are more, there are more animals. Oh, yeah, there's more animals than there are humans. Well, humans are technically animals. Well, you, you get my point. But you get my point. And the thing is, we won't be able to compensate in time. Eventually, we'll start running out of oxygen because we're using it up. We won't be able to breathe. Eventually, we'll start killing ourselves. Breathe. Because oh, if we're out of plants, yeah. If we're out of plants, it means no more oxygen. They can't generate more oh, oxygen. Oh, and speaking of this whole oxygen thing. You keep bringing up the whole fact that beavers cut down trees and then the oxygen and stuff like that. You do realize all plant life produces oxygen, including weeds. So, 
we'll be kind of okay if trees go down. And here's this, by the way. Oh, so she knows that Pornhub plants two trees for every video watched. So, fuck (laughs) Fuck her. (laughs) Well then. Anyway. Watching porn saves lives. There you go. Let's continue. (laughs) People like dogs and cats and beavers and Canadian geese and deer and etc. Why is it just Canadian geese? Why isn't it all geese? I hate geese too, by the way. But I, I hate, hate geese. Yeah, for a different reason. I really hate geese. For but, an entirely different reason. Though. But I don't want them all to go die and be segregated. And I know not all geese are bad, but I really hate them. Again, an oven does like, not really have a mind cats. of its own. An oven does not have an instinct. And the sun, uh, I guess the sun can kill people. But again, the sun does not have an instinct. You need the sun to live. Yeah, but, but people, too much of everything is bad for you. That's why sun. they say things in moderation. Me, I can't be out in the sun for 30 minutes too long. I, it's hard for me to be in the sun for 30 minutes, unless I have sunblock. And the sun, yeah, doesn't have a conscience. It's not tech, well, technically, it's quote unquote alive. No, it's not alive. I meant it's a gas. It's a gaseous thing. Yes. Unless she believes it's something else. But anyway. It can still kill regardless. It may not be a living thing in your eyes, but that doesn't take away the fact that it'll still kill you in some other way. It's like that video. Everything will kill you eventually. Yes. If you've ever seen that video, literally everything will kill you. Even drinking too much water will kill you. Yeah. Yet your excuse is, well, we need water to live. Well, water can kill you too. In fact, if you consume more than six liters of water in your body, you will drown. Your body will drown. You are overhydrated. Then let's not even like get into the whole, like many waters have parasites and stuff in them as well. And sometimes water companies put in chemicals. Yeah. Well, especially the U.S., we put fluoride in ours, even though fluoride is harmless in small amount, small amounts, and they do it so then we, it can strengthen our bones and teeth. Many conspiracies, conspiracies, conspiracy theory people think it's to make us all dumb, but that's not true. Yeah, nothing makes you dumb. You make you dumb. You do not need dogs, cats, beavers, Canadian geese. No, no, pause. I know what makes us dumb. The U.S. education system. It's so flawed. Example. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And that is why they can be segregated from humanity on an island or on a desert or something. You cannot send the sun to the desert or an island. And unlike those disgusting evil animals, we didn't, we need the sun to live. So your argument is... We need the animals to live! Maybe not to eat them, but for the ecosystem! As I stated earlier. Pretty stupid. And no, not every animal has killed someone. Butterflies do not go in the street and maul people. Little black ants do not, like, kick down your door like deer do. Wait, black ants? You do know some people are really allergic to ants, right? And also, there are ants out there that attack people. Purposely! Such as fire ants. Uh, Or army ants, for example. Army ants specifically, uh, particularly attack animals and devour them. They will swarm them, poison them kill them, and carry their p- carcass slowly to their ba- to their home. Or what about those giant bull ants that, like, they're all over in Arizona? Oh, God. <laughs> don't forget Texas. Those things Texas. hurt they're, when they bite you. They're in Texas, you. too. They're in Texas, too, and they get really big in Texas. Oh, they hurt when they bite. Yeah. Hey. And stab people. Little birds, like those little brown, harmless birds... Do not go out of their way to attack people like these dangerous animals that I have what exposed birds are you talking to. About? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm assuming she's talking about like those tiny birds, like uh, uh, robins and stuff like that. I think so. Um, Actually, those birds will attack you. They won't do a whole lot of damage, so but they will attack you if they feel threatened, such as if you're messing with their nests, messing with their nests and stuff like that, or their lives feel threatened. They will try and scratch you and peck at you. Yeah. If you studied animals, you'd know this. But it's just they can't do as much damage as, say, a, a lion bear. Or a lion. 
Yeah, <laughs> but they do try and attack you. It's just their reasons is I need to protect myself and I need to protect my nest. Yes. <clears throat> So please get your phone oh, straight. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Here's this. We've been only like four and a half minutes into her video, and we've been talking about this for 30 minutes. It is nice conversation, though. Yeah. Goldfish don't kill people either. You just don't want to acknowledge the facts I dropped. Oh, we're acknowledging it. Trust me. They're not we facts, though. Two deranged we're acknowledging your statements. Pause. They're not really facts, though. You're not looking very deep into your argument if you're, like, just looking at article titles and stuff like that. That's not really evidence. You don't do extensive research and stuff like that. Now, if you did that, then yes, we'd all acknowledge, hey, she did her ev she did this, she proved this with proper evidence and stuff like that. Then we'd acknowledge that you're being correct, but you're not really being correct. And then when we show you our evidence, you go. just completely denounce it. Yeah. Like, yeah, but here's this. Oh, she's about to come up with us now. No, guys, remember what? No, we're going to let her finish what she says. We shouldn't pause this part until she's finished talking about us. Okay? All right. And then we can start talking about our thing. As Dawn Comics and Powered Milk. Or Powdered <laughs> Milk. Read. Same. Um, I have those moments. I guess these two are, um each other's toys or something I don't yeah. know but they are very trashy and they will publicly talk about dirty things on wow. the comments Get being down. indecent <laughs> and in all honesty they deserve to go to jail for this I want to know why they do they deserve to be locked behind bars that is a misdemeanor crime Okay, okay, you're away. Hold on, wait, pause, 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 pause. Let me explain this to you. Actually, talking inappropriate to another person is not illegal. What is illegal is actual physical sexual contact. Yeah, in public, public indecency. Yes, that is illegal, but talking is not. Now, Talking is not because it also falls under our freedom of speech law. If you're going off of the United States, which I know you're American. Yeah. Now, if you're talking about different countries, then yeah, you may be correct. But it's different here. Anyway. What was I going to say? Oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> Go, uh, I don't remember. But hey, I'm going to oh, start playing I remember. I remember. Hold on. Now. If you go based off of YouTube's policy, now you may have gotten to somewhere, because yes, what we were doing was against YouTube policy. But it wasn't really But violence. that's not illegal. That's just YouTube's rules. YouTube is a privately owned business. They're not governmentally run. If you know what government means, isn't really a word. Now, I here's think. this. <laughs> what you we were doing, though, was to mess with your mind. Yes. Now, we I will apologize. Serious. Now, here's this. I'm going to be a, be a man about this, and I will apologize for that. But it was mainly to bait you in. I won't really apologize because it's kind of funny, but I will apologize for others who have to read our comments. Well, we're going to read them bit, here. We're gonna it read them is here. a bit indecent. It it's wasn't. very indecent. Oh, wait, not that. Not that word. Hold on. And not really in our character. Uh, hold on. i got to pull up the video so I can get the comments out. Um, so triggered. I, okay, I got the video up. Okay, and I'm pulling up the comments now. Um, she, remember, she pins her own comments because no one wants yeah, to. Yeah, she pins and hearts her own comments. And I believe it's because literally no one else is giving the attention that she is trying to seek. So I made a comment saying, you know, talking about Satanism because she talks about Satanist and all that in the video. And uh, then, she, I, then she makes a comment about how she calls the Dark Reindeer a Satanist. I'm a Satanist, and I'm, I am I will admit that. But she doesn't seem to understand how Satan works. But then uh, Aurora decides to come in and comment to me. He says, oh, she says this, end quote. Oh, hell yes, I am sexually attracted to redheads. You're so sexy. Now, here's the reason why we brought all of this up. Again, it goes back to the whole profile image thing and people's names and her just assuming based off of that their sexual orientation and stuff like that. 
that's how this all started. And he knew I was going to start doing this because we talked about it to kind of use her own logic and reasoning against her. Yeah. That's why we started all of this. And then she used to go, Satanic redheads are my kink. Yeah, because, again, and then I was I get, trying to get to her. And then I go, who's your daddy? Oh, by the way, I will I will publicly state this. I'm into the daddy thing, okay? I will publicly state that. I'm not ashamed. Um, then she goes, he, he, a bunch of emojis. And then, um, and then I'm going to skip over some people. Some person corrected me. I'm on my satanic knowledge. Because there were, I was a bit wrong, I will admit. But then, um, then, um... We're just gonna skip to what we've we said, and White Wolf and White Fox have said. Oh, and, like, uh, basically the perverse comments is what we're gonna do. And then she called, okay, later on she called me, uh, a swine. She said I was meant brainwashed and a- for being an atheist Satanist, and said I lived a sad life. I don't say I have a sad life. You have a, have an amazing life. We have a, we're, we have a nice house. I got a nice paying job. I got a lot of uh, cool stuff. I got a YouTube channel, tons of awesome fans. I have a baby on the way. We are now financially stable enough to be able to afford nice things such as our new car. Something that we would have never been able to achieve. Yeah. Before. And, uh. Yeah, she said I live a sad life. I don't live a sad life. Our I'm life not. is fantastic. And she says... We hardly ever she, argue. It's amazing. She sold Dawn Comics to fuck off. You're annoying and take your toy with you. <laughs> Again, my wife. Um, let's see. And then, let's see. Let's go on here. Uh, okay, then I go and say... And then I say, oh, please tell me why I'm a swine. I dearly uh, uh, want to know. I use the word dearly as a pun. Because... It, it gets to her. Yeah, also, we did this all to get to her. And I said, also, it's not a sad life. I enjoy my life, and I fail to see your point. I'm also not brainwashed. I made the choice. I heard about it, did my research. I decided to live that lifestyle since I'm similar to what I normally do. Remember, I'm quoting here. Then Aurora says, Nah, I'm going to stay public platform. And oh, yes, he is my boy toy. Yeah, I was, because I can't technically respond and comment on whatever I want however some of the comments I did make are not for YouTube policy and I will admit that And but the ones that I had made so far that he has read don't really go against YouTube guidelines and this is oh hey there princess why don't you come to my place and I'll show you a good time I say that then Aurora says I'd like that a lot of oh, tons of emojis um and then I said these. Oh God, this is embarrassing. Now that I'm saying this out loud, I want you to cru- I want you to crush my head between your thighs. <laughs> oh God, that's so funny. And then you say, "Gladly, Daddy." Yeah. Then, uh, then I co- comment with a bunch of emojis, like the eggplant emoji and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and, and then she says, "Take me to your atheist Satanist love dungeon." And I say, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> White Wolf joins in later on. Yeah, we were all like laughing about this and stuff. And then White Wolf decided to join. Also, may we add, we kept trying to go further and further. So then it would click in her mind that we're married. But it obviously never did. She yeah. didn't figure it out that we're married. Yeah. Hey, I can join. And White Wolf says, he asked if he can join. And we said, yes. Um... As in joining with the comments not make them think that we're into, like, polygamy. <laughs> no, no, no. That's illegal for my part. <laughs> and I'm not into polygamy. Yeah. And then, then she says, dirty fucking ginger pig, fuck off, you sluts. Go, oh, it'll be filthy hot somewhere else. You need be, there's no need to be so indecent. Again, this was a joke. And then she tells Don Comics to go away again. And she calls White Wolf a psychopath, a dot wolf worshiper, obsessed with albino wolves, thinks she's a white supremacist or whatever. Um, he, my wolf is a he. Oh, he yeah, is all because it says white wolf. You do realize there are wolves that are white, right? Yeah. And then again, I use this later on to backfire to her. I'm like, wait, you have a white wolf as your profile picture. That means you're a white supremacist because white board. Yeah, and then wolves <laughs> is like, I'm a kinky wolf that needs to be punished. I say, <laughs> yeah, I'm dirty. I'm proud of it. At least I'm happy with my life. And they says, why you got, Aurora says, why you got a king sh- shame? Damn jealous you don't have anything in, in talk, anyone talking to you, talking this way to, with you? And then, um, 
let's see, Aurora says, uh, you wanted to be, uh, wanted to know people's sexual, uh, sexuality so bad. Well, here you go. And then I sit, and then she goes, dirty, dirty ginger. <laughs> Aurora does. Aurora does. Oh, it was so funny when I made that comment. And then, the, the, then she states to us, yeah, I bet you are so happy, quotes, she uses quotes, being a filthy ass. You are a lie to yourself. She was saying that to you. I know. Oh, I thought you didn't tell them that. I did. She states to me. Uh, then she goes to Don Comics. You're, you're doing it publicly, you sick gas. You only prove I am right. You people are insane and need help. Here's this. I will not deny we do have mental illnesses such as depression. I am... Oh, but that's wrong. We need to we need to be segregated because we have mental illnesses that we cannot control. Oh, uh, so does my brother and your brother apparently. And then I comment. Well, I wish you can see my smile, and I'll show you my BDSM gear to show you I'm not lying. Now, guys, I will state I do have BDSM gear. Oh no! That is, a... <laughs> I, that is not a lie. <laughs> I'll even bring it on camera. No, dude. <laughs> well, I wish you... Uh, but here's this. I'm smiling. Now you can see. Anyway. Um, all you, and then she goes to Don Comics. All you care about is fuck. Aurora says, oh, poor, poor girl. You never learned. Do you know oh, when people are fucking with you? She still didn't get it. And, says, and hey, at least I, we actually like other humans. You seem to only be attracted to whiteboards and want to... <laughs> now... And then uh, she goes to me... I don't care about your ass smile. You both need to be tied up with your gear and sent to the desert where you, where are no people. You are a psychopath and a danger to society. Okay, we're going to go... Um, I'm not going to talk about what she says to White Wolf more. Uh, then I say, sounds kinky. I like it. I say that. And then, what? Then let's see. Um, she goes to Don Comics. You are ignorant. Uh, Aurora says, you are ignorant correcting her grammar. And then uh, she says, no, you are. And I said, I was correcting your spelling, you goldfish. Uh, uh, that was later. That was a later comment. Uh, yeah, but I still but did it. It says, ah, oh, don't worry. You got a sit ale on whiteboards and staples. Only you pick one up and really nice. Now, this was, um, and then uh, I stayed to white wolf me too when he stated that he was a horny wolf or whatever. <laughs> um, let's see, where was I at? I think I lost myself here. Um, Let's see, um, you, you say to her, they've got mirrors there too, you know, since you admit are narcissistic, harding your own comments out of uh, desperation. Um, she, as we stated, she hearts her own comments. Aurora says, and, and by the way, harassment is no longer considered harassment if you acknowledge the harasser of harassed or harassers. Which is true. It's not considered harassment at that point. Um, let's see. Technically, if I remember that correctly. I did have and then I, this is where I started to bait her. I wonder what she would say about my channel, but she didn't actually go to my channel directly. Maybe she will now. <laughs> let's see. Uh, dark wall. Let's see. She I'm trying to find ones where she directs us again. You say she wants attention, even if it's negative against the person who seems to like her is her, or uh, whatever. Um, Quite literally. Um, you're petty, disgusting for wanting whiteboard being whiteboard. Oh, yeah, you said the white supremacy. That was the white supremacist thing you mentioned. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think she comments again later on. Oh, wait, here she goes. She talks to you again. I don't care. You're indecent people, and BDSM is abuse. Now she will talk about that in a minute. No, I think she already talked about it, didn't she? No, she did oh, not. Oh, no. She, oh, my goodness. Which we will talk about in a minute. She says, yeah, because as you're trying to be... Uh, you're trying down beating your boy toy and him beating you is not abuse at all. It, it's not abuse if it's consensual. If it's wanted by all parties and all parties are okay with what is happening and understand that there are limitations to what you will do. We have a safe word for that. Then it's not abuse. Abuse is unwanted physical contact. That's also could be considered rape. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. abuse is Unwanted physical contact. Unwanted physical... If BDSM is wanted, it's not abuse. But here's this. And you two deserve to be behind bars. Not to mention your BDSM kink, which is abuse. You are sick people and need to get help. 
I'm sorry, we're kinky. Casey says, I really doubt that deer specifically chose that guy because he's a past deer. It's an animal that doesn't have the capacity to comprehend religion. <sighs> Another example of a perfectly brainwashed girl. No, no, pause, pause, pause. No, animals literally cannot comprehend the basic things that humans do because they do not have the level of understanding as humans do. That's what separates us from the animals. Okay? A deer isn't going to realize what a cop is or what a firefighter is or what a doctor is or what a scientist is. Here's this, guys. It doesn't understand. See, the reason why we're different from animals is because we chose perfect bodies for per for good bra for big brains. That's the difference between us and animals. Animals chose perfect bodies for survival. We chose brain. So, you know, yeah, that's basically what, what we did. But we're not brainwashed. That's basic understanding of how animals' brain works. If you've actually ever studied the anatomy and biology of animals. I have. Oh, God, we have 44, 40 something minutes into this and we've only been five and a half minutes to her video. <laughs> Animals can be manipulated by the powers of darkness. Pause. Why? Oh my goodness, <laughs> power of darkness. Oh god. No, we have to let her talk. I know, but these don't exist. No. No. Deer. Wait, wait, pause. Oh, I, I caught her on something. What? Well, if the deer or any animal are manipulated by the dark forces, then technically it's not the animal's fault. It's the dark forces' fault. <laughs> yeah. Technically. Yeah. Going by your logic, then it's not the animal's fault. It's the dark powers' fault. Well, I, I have a theory. She might have watched that episode of South Park where the cute animals are killing people for Satan. I remember, Maybe she saw that and probably had that theory that's what really is going on. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. And so does the devil. Or Baphomet. I can't really hear her. Be clear. Well, um, this thing was also known by pagans or Celtic pagans. You do understand paganism or Christian Ireland, would say it isn't right? as Cernunos. Yeah. It's more that than anything. And Cernunos is this um, Why does this fallen have to be brought into with this anyway? deer horns I don't understand associated why she brought with not only it. deer but also goats. This is a direct link to the forces of darkness. You know, fallen angels, etc. Um, you can see also how like a snake, which is also associated with fallen angels. No, the snake in the Bible represented the devil. You realize yeah, that? Yeah, if I remember correctly, the snake was Lucifer himself. And they don't represent fallen angels. Fallen angels represent fallen angels. You can say the snake in the Bible who was it? He convinced Eve to eat the apple or something. Yeah. The apple of knowledge, or something like which, that. Which, not just Satan, but Lucifer in general, which, by the way, is a fucking angel. I mean, technically he's a fallen angel, but he was originally... Wasn't he originally an archangel? Or something like that? He is an archangel, I think. Um, along with his brothers. But, uh, but Lucifer is an angel. He just disagreed with God. So yeah, deer have been associated with these horned deities, and are there? Are you saying you believe in Christianity and these deities? Because a deity means a god. You know that, right? A deity means a god. I have a question. Why does she hate animals so much if they're literally God's creation and God put them on this earth to feed us that's and for it. us to use? That's what that's what the Bible says. I don't think she's actually read it. <laughs> I have. 
No, she appear, only read the like, parts cool, that she liked. Hair, just like how cats were worshipped by the Egyptian oh, I pagans. I think I know what part of the church she is. She's probably part of that Westboro Baptist Church insane people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually what it is. Oh, God! We got contact with the... What, what's their last name? Something. I don't know. Let's just go on this. We got contact with the Westboro Baptist Church. And... Wait, that's well, Baptist I want to trigger an overcast. Well, I guess the branches are... Themselves. There's just some different branches of uh, Christianity. There's Catholic, there's Baptist. Uh, then Technically, Mormon's a branch off that, but it's on its own thing right now. It's kind of like a partial branch. But um, there's also, of course, Mormonism. I guess that's the word. Um, this is not my area of speech because, you know, I'm not really into religious type things in this way. Yeah. I don't have much knowledge on them. Yeah. Studios, so I'll just say the Egyptians. You know, cats. Yes, cats were considered sacred to the Egyptians. That's before Christianity Didn't existed. Didn't cats also have, like, some type of healing factor to them? Or something? Or maybe no, no, they were something of, um, what was it, Sekhbet, I think? I think it was Sekhbet. I, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but some god out there was a very sacred god back then. And uh, it was a female, by the way, and she was like, she had the head of a cat, and that's Dang, why you know what cats we should have been doing? We should have had, like, articles on hand, so then she's like, well, you didn't show any evidence. Dang, we should have done that. But then again, this is stuff that we've known and studied and high stuff school. like that. In high school. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, a lot of things I also did my did did when I was like since I was twelve years old was study mythology as a hobby. <laughs> I always found mythology interesting. That's not mythology though. Technically, it She's is. Talking about Egyptian. Egyptian is mythology. Wait, so is like mythology just like a branch term? Eventually, um, all religion. Mythical thing. Uh, well, technically, all religion is kind of mythical. Then. Yes, that's the term mythology. <laughs> See, eventually, once we. If religion ends up becoming, no one believes in any religion anymore, eventually it starts turning into mythology. That's, for example, because Egypt, uh, the Egyptians believed in their religion, and then there is other religions such as, you know, Greek mythology, and then there was the Roman mythology, which is, a, is which is continued from Greek mythology. The Romans eventually turned to Christianity. Were worshipped by the Egyptians, which also worshipped these fallen angels and so yeah Egyptians worship fallen and angels? Were... No, that's not what it was. Egyptians... No, is that what she said? I could have misheard her. No, but... Egyptian gods weren't fallen angels. Egyptian gods were made up to be worshipped for representing different things. If anything, they were more like giants. Yeah, uh, Set, for example, he was the was... wait, Anubis was the god of mummification um, then there was Ra, the god of the sun, all that stuff. You know what would be a cool way to teach her about this kind of stuff? Just send her, like, copies of Assassin's Creed or something. Oh my god, Assassin's Creed <laughs> Origins, though, can teach you a lot. Assassin's Creed can teach you a lot, because they teach you a lot about history and a lot about religions. We're also used by witches, too. Like, some witches, witches don't witches exist. Wiccans today well, some black people cats. think they're witches. They're, they're witch, witch doctors. There's Wicca, Derek. Wicca? I don't even know what that is. People who study witchcraft. Megan did that for a while. Oh yeah, I remember that. You anyway, mean Meg? You mean uh, Mark now? Yeah, Mark now, but that was back when he was Megan. Oh. <sighs> As like familiar animals. And cats have also been, you know, like, associated with some deities too, and Deities are gods! have also been known to be evil, and this is no different from deer. With your logic, that means you're saying gods are evil when stating your god is evil. Crocodiles, etc. Timber Humphrey is a deluded little girl, I'm guessing. Uh, I wonder 
Um, she has a cartoon dog as her profile picture, which is another example of how so we're being brainwashed Most by the media. Yeah. How they brainwash children with these so much animal money. cartoons, you know, like whatever cartoon that things from. Then we have like Pokemon, you know, stuff like that, which has like a bunch of animals that are dangerous in it, and Pokemon especially dogs. There are dog cartoons. They're pocket monsters. That's literally what Pokemon. Means. And then we have Timber Humphrey here telling me that I do not cartoons? use the facts, but I do use the facts, and I have used showed articles to back up my arguments. No, you showed the titles of articles. You didn't show actual articles. You didn't read them. You didn't quote any paragraphs or any authors of said articles. You just read the titles as you saw them on YouTube. I'm uh, not YouTube, Google. That's not That's how it, it works. And titles can be misleading. They could be, be the entire opposite of what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah. It's stated. It could just be baiting you in to come and read. You never know what's going to happen or what is going to be described unless you click on the article. And that's what the titles are there for. They're there to draw you in, not to give you the gist of the article. It's not really how it works. For it's example, um, there are several titles of books out there that don't really mean what they're talking about. Like, even in fictional books, the title doesn't mean what they're talking about. But you have not yet debunked anything, Tim Timber. You're just brainwashed. What have you debunked other than calling people brainwashed? And then making that somehow Savartar, reasonable. Someone with a cat as her profile picture, yeah, which again, only further shows how they are wrong. <laughs> what? Cats. Wait, wait, just because her profile picture is a cat makes them wrong? No, if it's an animal, it makes them wrong because she's so convinced that these people who have pictures of animals as their profile pictures mean that they want to be those animals. And she doesn't think that maybe it's their favorite animal, maybe it's their pet. That they love their pet so much they would just put it on their profile picture instead of their own face? Yeah. Because some people are insecure. I'm guessing you're insecure too because you posted a picture of a fucking whiteboard. Lovers and these cats are dangerous animals that are bringing no, no. them. Oh, sorry. Or her. It's no surprise that they have a cat. Bring the camera closer. Picture just shows you're how editing that out. Are. I can't. You know, they want to be their cat or something. No, because she's talking about They tell me clip. that if I am passionate and seriously think all animals are potentially dangerous and should be segregated from humanity, then I should do something about it. Um, guess what, Savartar? I am doing something about it. I am trying to wake people up. But it's kind of hard to do when you people are so stupid and want to... Well, you're not really doing anything. You're not just, like, try to discredit me. Although, in reality, you are wrong and I am right. See, this is where people think they're smart and they're not really... I'm not going to admit I'm smart, but I at least know what, when and I'm when right and what, Yeah, I know when yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, you admit to when you're wrong. For example, in the same comments, a woman had corrected me on my knowledge of Satanism and Luciferianism, which is the two different things. But they're also quite similar in some ways, because there are also Satanists who actually believe in God and Satan and stuff like that. There are Sat there are Luciferianists who don't believe in God, God and Satan. It's vice versa is the same. But she corrected me on, and I had to admit she was right. I entirely forgot to state that. You're probably just brainwashed by Nova Cast Studios or the Dark Reindeer. And then this, uh, this poor, sad individual, Nova Cast Studios, tells me I spit out biased misinformation. Which you do. Yet he does not. Prove it. How do I spell out bias information? There are plenty of articles and news things that show that deer are dangerous beasts. They kick down people's windows. You know, you should be able to walk through 
the gym or walk through the bank or walk through the restaurant without having a deer kick it down and stab deer you. Deer don't do that all the time, though. They don't. When has a deer ever kicked down a bank door? Just because it wants to. I don't even think it gets the concept of what money is. Yeah, deer don't understand. I want to. What if it turns out she's that woman who was screaming at the bear? Bear, stop bear, it! Bear, stop! No, oh, I don't think that's her. Oh, God. She's probably that's one of those people. Though. Like, you may understand what you're talking about. Yeah, There's no funny. excuse for this. Now, I have showed already that in another video in the past where there was deer breaking into the bank, breaking into the gym, breaking into Denny's, you know, restaurants, breaking into countless people's houses. But look, see, deer breaks into business, is shot and killed by police. Probably because he was causing harm to people at the time. They only shot him through the neck. Now, I think the only- Or they couldn't get it under control. Plus, do you know why they jumped into the restaurant or whatever? You don't know the reasoning behind the deer. I doubt that they're doing it just to upset and harm people. I'm pretty sure the deers are most likely doing it because they're extremely skittish animals. Because it got spooked or something. Yeah, we had deer in our yard for the longest time. They literally did nothing. They did nothing. <laughs> yeah, they did nothing. They just yeah, ate grass, did house, their thing. Our old house, they literally did nothing. <laughs> Yeah. They got scared when people came by. Yeah, military bases, deer don't give a fuck. Because you can't hunt on a military base, so they're safe there. And deer go around your yard all the time. They're protected there. Deer breaks into a school, okay? There is no just excuse for this. Titles, no deer though, you're not... has a reason to go up to someone's house, to go up to a public place, kick the window, and or kick the door down to like stab snake people. Or, something, or a car. And you are a psychopath for defending these. Well, here's oh, this. Hot. Here's this. You also got to make sure that the source you're getting it from is credible. Yeah. Like for all those Florida co Florida posts, they're probably most of them are not even real. Beasts, these dogs with horns. These are just evil animals, and you really dogs do. Dogs with horns, so they don't. I believe dogs eat meat. Dogs with horns? That's what she called the deer. Oh, I thought she said dogs have horns. I was like, what? <laughs> I've never seen this before. You need to wake up and maybe stop telling me that I'm the one that's biased. When in reality, you're the one that's biased. Oh, and by the you're way, the those horns aren't as sharp facts. as you think so they you are. Would... Yes, they can impale you with a lot of force. But if you just touch them normally, you're perfectly fine. They don't really hurt. I mean, I've had a goat ram me before in the back before, and that was fine. They didn't want to stab me with it. Anyway, back to the video. It's almost done. We got like two, two minutes left. Just push everything I say aside, and then you say I'm biased, but in reality, you're biased. How are they being biased, though? They, they take what you say and prove you wrong. Yes, they use actual evidence to it and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure if they were proven wrong, they'd own up to it, unlike you. That's what confirmation bias is, if you've ever heard of that. That's where someone gives you information on something that's been proven to be a fact, yet you still refuse to accept that information because it does not fit your narrative. And you will not accept that answer. That's what confirmation bias is. Now, someone who doesn't do that will own up to their mistakes and their longings and stuff like that. Yet you won't. That's You are a perfect example of someone who has a ton of confirmation bias. Back to the video. In C-J-E-D, this very weird, weird demented man or girl, I don't know, has this ugly black looking and it's their poodle pet. or whatever as their profile picture. Oh, well, this is the dog, right? And yes. They came on here and t 
told me that I am delusional. And sometimes I'm a comedic genius because for some reason he thinks that the facts I drop are just hilarious. Yeah, they are! They are hilarious. It's completely comical. She's just an idiot. And she got so and offended he and butthurt that he was taking it as a joke. And claimed that he wants to be a human. Oh, shit. But. I don't know. I think the people that have no, you animals are as their profile pictures. Well, I'm gonna assume you want to be a whiteboard then. <laughs> are somehow like coping with an identity crisis. Like they want to be this disgusting animal so bad that so they put it as a picture and they pretend to be one online. No, although they're in denial they about clearly it. stated they are a person. They don't you know, just pretend like to be a dog this weirdo, or anything. just like the dark reindeer, just like the white wolf. These people are seriously deluded. What? I like, I like how she doesn't talk about the white wolf. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's oh, it. Oh no, she only brings up all the stuff we said, but not what White Wolf and White Fox brought in and stuff like that. Yeah, she doesn't bring it in at all. You're editing that image of me out. I can't do that! <laughs> Some of that, what she was saying in that part, wasn't really relevant to begin with. So as you can see, her biased delusions, and we'll call them that because that's what they are, she don't, won't accept what she has. She won't accept the truth, truth that's given to her. She thinks whatever she says is true. And that doesn't make any sense, does it, guys? Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, the dark truth about dogs, I hope you see this video. And I'll There's catch... some more entertainment. Yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.